All right, Ginny asked me if I use any social media posting tools like Hootsuite or Buffer to organize or pre-schedule postings to make my time more efficient. Um, I do not. Uh, obviously, I have looked into them. I have used them in the past, and I decided not to use them because of uh, two reasons. One is that um, the, um, well, when I use them, this is 10 years ago when I, when I was 12, 10 to 12 years ago when I was using them, uh, they weren't as sophisticated at posting the right kind of format in these different platforms. That was one pot. And so it's like, it's like, you know, something you tweet out looks exactly the same on Facebook. It shouldn't look the same on Facebook because each one of these or on Instagram, or I guess Instagram is totally different, but at LinkedIn, et cetera, it, like each one of these platforms has its own feel to it, its own style. I'm sure it's gotten much more sophisticated now and you could, you could like, you know, make it different. You could schedule things differently. So maybe that's problem is solved. But I also noticed, um, and that this might still be the case, I'm not sure, but you, you might want to test it, that the social media algorithms don't like these tools because human beings, your audience, don't, your audience feel that something is not authentic when you use those tools. It, it's not, sometimes it's, does it do this still? Like it used to say posted by Hootsuite or something like that. Like in Facebook, when you use Hootsuite to post something, you just say post by Hootsuite, like a very subtle underneath, um, right next to where the date is, it says post. It used to say that. I don't know if it says that anymore. But when you, when you use those tools, the, the um, temptation is to schedule it recurringly. Like, oh, this was a good post. So I'm just going to have Hootsuite or Buffer recycle this post every you know, three months or something like that. And by doing that, your audience... It's like you didn't consciously do that. Uh, you know, let's say three months later, it posted automatically. Like you weren't consciously doing that. And you have the intuition about your audience and about what they need at this time and what you want to say at this time. That is in the moment. And that is broken by the, by the tool that's recurring posting for you. I, I now to, to be clear, I repost stuff all the time. I mean, uh, if you look at my content, um, I post, what is it, four things a week, and three of those four things are reposted things from the past, but I do it manually because I am like saying, yes, this, I still want to post this. This is still, you know, and so I, I think that makes a difference for the audience. I think they hopefully sense that, and um, that's the danger of the tools is you, 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 you get, you get spoiled by them and and therefore it becomes less and less authentic over time and therefore the algorithms uh know that and and will tend to uh, downplay that so <clears throat> here's the thing i i this is a question i get like every month <laughs> i answer this question every single month and i always am i always say the same thing which is that isn't it worth the extra two minutes i mean is it really does it really save that much time on it. Like, how much do you post? Like, okay, I, I understand if it's somebody who is uh, posting, like Twitter is a little differently. You know, Twitter has a different, Twitter, I could see the, uh, there's, a, there's, a, uh, there's a Twitter strategy where it's okay to post 20 times on Twitter a day. Yeah, 20 times, 20 tweets on Twitter a day is acceptable. And it's not only acceptable, it's frequent. And so people using that strategy, I understand they, could, they might use those tools because it's madness to, to be literally copying and pasting 20 times a day or 18 times a day, something you tweeted before. So yes, for Twitter, like mass content strategy, I understand people do that. I think that's fine. But for Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn uh, or, or YouTube, I don't think it makes sense. I think those platforms... You should you shouldn't be posting more than a few times a week, you know, on those platforms. It just it's not good for the audience. It's not good for the relationship with the audience. So, if you're only posting three times a week, does it really take the extra two minutes? You can't really can't spend that extra two minutes to do that. I mean, knowing that it's more authentic, uh, your audience will sense it over time. So that's my. Uh, I hope that I hope that helps. And I want to say, um, you know, I, I, I always get 
a little bit surprised by this question. I, I'm not judging the person asking it because everybody asked me this question. <laughs> I mean, I've been asked this question by like 25% of my, my entire audience has asked me this question. But I always go, is it really that much trouble to do a few extra clicks? To me, I'm a, I'm a social media purist. So I, I feel like it's honoring to the audience to take the extra two minutes to shape my post for that platform, you know? And it's like, to the, and I get it. It's like, you, of course, who wants to work more? Everyone wants to work less. So yeah, George, why wouldn't I save the three or five clicks? That's 30 seconds. If I save 30 seconds times three times a week, that's a minute and a half, you know, or four and a half minutes or whatever per week, you know, why wouldn't I save those five minutes a week? Sure. But if you understand that it is honoring to the audience to just take an extra half a minute or two minutes to shape it for that platform, I think it'll, it'll be better for your relationship to the audience over time. And not just the algorithm, by the way, it's better for your internal relationship to the audience. There's kind of like, <clears throat> kind of like this bowing to the audience when you post something or this humble offering rather than, ah, let's get it over with. You see, you see the internal mental, emotional difference there? Ah, let's, get, let's post this and get it over with. Go, 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 go. Versus, here's my humble offering today. Difference. And it's like, just here's my humble offering today. You're like, why would I automate that? How can we automate that? It's, I mean, now, 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 I'm sorry. I, I have to clarify real quick. I do use Facebook and Instagram Creator Studio to schedule the posts for the coming week. No, okay, so, so I mean, uh, I probably just sound like I contra contradicted myself. I do use the Facebook and Instagram Creator Studio, which is what they want us to use to post things, to schedule the post for tomorrow or for next Tuesday or for next Thursday or something. But I still do it. I don't. The the difference is I don't. I don't recur posts on a regular basis in an automated way. I always do it manually even if I schedule it ahead. So that if I'm working on a Monday to schedule posts for the week, I do schedule posts for the week using the official tools, but not using Hootsuite, Buffer, or literally there's a post, there's a tool called Recur Post and things like Meet Edgar and things like that. I wanna actually show you on the screen which tool I'm talking about. This is Facebook Creator Studio. Does it look like this for you? Because it always, they, they change it every couple of months. So you can see now that I've already scheduled this post for what is it? Uh, a couple of days from now, two days from now. And I scheduled this a couple of days ago. And this is a post from 2018. But as I scheduled it, I thoughtfully did it. And in fact, I even, you know, listened to my video again on my dog walk to make sure that this is still relevant. Versus if you use something like Buffer, Hootsuite, et cetera, they'll just repost it without you having consumed it again yourself to make sure it's still relevant. You see what I mean? That's the difference. And then and the Facebook Creator Studio, this uh, Instagram link, here, if you've linked Instagram to Creator Studio, you can you, you will also be able to, to post. See, I have a scheduled post coming up too for Instagram, you see. So um, that's the tool that I use for scheduling to Facebook, Instagram. For YouTube, um, you could schedule videos on YouTube using the official YouTube um, tool when you upload a video or a post. And um, LinkedIn, unfortunately, you can't schedule. That's the one thing I'm annoyed by on LinkedIn. That's where I might get convinced to use something like Hootsuite for LinkedIn, for, for LinkedIn scheduling, because that's real annoying that I have to do it myself. So that's the one part. But, but again, the difference is I wouldn't, I would do it just for the coming week and not for, oh yeah, every three months, this is going to go out, you know, kind of, kind of thing.